Hi DIYers, this is Michael from AlarmGrid, and today I'm going to be showing you how to connect your August Smart Lock Pro to a Wi-Fi network. Now to do this, you will need the August Connect Wi-Fi bridge, uh, which we have ours already out of the packaging. You see this is just the outer cover here. And we have our Connect um, right here, um, the, the module right here that we will be plugging in. Um, but the benefits to getting your August Smart Lock Pro to a Wi-Fi network, um, I, I do want to make it very clear, first of all, the August Smart Lock Pro can't do Wi-Fi unless you have this uh, Connect Wi-Fi bridge. Without this, it can't get onto a Wi-Fi network. Now, the advantage to getting it onto Wi-Fi is that you will be able to control the lock remotely through the August Home app. Because otherwise, the, um, the only way that the, uh, you can communicate with the lock would be through Bluetooth. And you're acting remotely. You're not within Bluetooth range. You're away from your home or business. And you know, you're not within Bluetooth range, so you need to have the lock on the Wi-Fi network so that way you can control it remotely through the August Home app. Now, um, I do want to cl be clear that the, um, the Connect Wi-Fi bridge, it's not for HomeKit. Uh, HomeKit can't communicate with the lock through Wi-Fi. That's all done through Bluetooth. So if you're doing HomeKit, then you would have to have the lock within um, ran Bluetooth range of your dedicated HomeKit hub. Um, so go check out our HomeKit video for more information on that. But we're not worried about HomeKit today. We're worried about the August Smart Lock Pro and the Connect Wi-Fi bridge. Um, so that way you can control it through the August Home app. Um, so let's get started with this. Uh, we already have our August Smart Lock Pro enrolled with the August app. We've gone through the initial setup and everything. And what we're going to actually be doing is adding a new accessory in the August app. We're setting up, setting up a connect. So uh, let's do that. Uh, we have our iPad here. That's what we'll be using today to complete the process. And we're going to click on the August app here. And then um, you see we're at Dylan's house. Dylan changed the name on our iPad um, in, our, in the August app, um, but that's fine. Um, and we're going to click the, the hamburger button, the three horizontal bars in the upper left corner here. And we're going to set up a new device. Looks like it's Michael Test. And um, all right, we're going to choose set up a device at the bottom here. And then we're going to uh, choose set up a connect. That's what we're working here, the August Connect Wi-Fi bridge. So uh, step one, set up connect. Uh, let's add a remote bridge for your lock. So we're going to start. And then uh, before you um, get started, make sure the phone, this phone is connected to your home's Wi-Fi network. Uh, we've done that. Um, so we're going to continue here. And now we need to plug the connect into an outlet. Um, so I'm going to do that real quick. Uh, we have an outlet down here. And we'll just plug that in. Uh, let's see. There we go. And I um, just want to confirm that it did, does make some colors. There we go. It is turning green. So that's, that's good. So uh, now let's continue here. Um, we're going to um, we plug it in as close to our door, which we don't have a door. We just have the lock. But that is pretty close. So looks like we're good here. Um, and we're going to click OK. The connect is plugged in. And we're going to press and hold the front button on the connect for five seconds, then wait a moment um, for the green light to begin blinking slowly. So um, let's see. We're going to press and, press and hold the button on here until we get the green LED. There we go. We got the green LED. And now we're going to uh, click OK. The light is blinking green. And now it's scanning for the connects. So we're going to let it do that. OK, now we're connecting our lock to Wi-Fi, or connecting the bridge to Wi-Fi. <laughs> Not connecting the lock yet, connecting the bridge to Wi-Fi. Uh, so we're going to choose Start. Now, we, we have confirmed that our iPad is connected to a Wi-Fi network. It's connected to the Alarm Grid network. Um, but it does list our current Wi-Fi network null. Um, but, um, and it does say here that 5 gigahertz networks are not supported. So make sure you're on a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi network. And we're going to begin Wi-Fi setup here. And it looks like it's scanning. and. Now it's gathering information about our network, preparing. Just kind of wait through this here. OK, um, and this accessory is going to be set up to join the alarm grid network, which is the one we want. That's what we're connected to. We're going to choose Next. And you see it's joining alarm grid. OK, and then it says setup complete. This accessory joined alarm grid. We'll just press the Done button here. And it says, please wait while your bridge comes online. So we'll wait for that. And then there we go. Setup is complete. We've got our connect connected to Wi-Fi. Our it says our bridge has been added to null. Um, it should say alarm grid, but um, that's fine. We'll, we'll do finish. And then um, it allows us to test signals. So yeah, we better do that. Uh, we'll go and test the signals here. Um, 
And it looks like we had our good Bluetooth connection. Uh, Bluetooth range is about 10 to 15 feet, and we're clearly within 10 to 15 feet. So that's fine. So we'll go continue here. And now um, it says, congratulations. You have set up your Connect Wi-Fi bridge. Uh, we've get done it across Wi-Fi. Shows it on the screen. Uh, we'll press continue. And now we can go back to Dylan's house and click on that. And you see it gives us the Bluetooth logo in the upper right corner here. Um, if I click on it, it actually is going to say that it seamlessly uh, switches between Wi-Fi and uh, Bluetooth. So if we took this uh, further away, if we went on a walk somewhere, then it would probably switch to Wi-Fi. Um, which um, I need to be in front of the camera, so I can't test that right now. But um, that's that's what would happen if, if it switches between Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. Um, says seamlessly, and uh, we have found that it does seamlessly um, switch. So if you're too far away for Bluetooth, then it will use the Wi-Fi connectivity. And like I said, that's needed for controlling it remotely because if you're trying to do the August um, home app to control your lock and you're not within Bluetooth range, well, then it's going to have to rely on Wi-Fi. So that's why you need this Connect Bridge setup. So that's why we did that today. But we're too close to the lock to uh, show you right now because it's only going to show Bluetooth. OK, and you can see that this is what it looks like if you move out of Bluetooth range and it switches to Wi-Fi. You can see in the upper right corner that it shows the Wi-Fi logo instead of the Bluetooth logo, uh, letting you know that you switched over to Wi-Fi. And now it's using the Connect Wi-Fi bridge to communicate. That is how you connect your um, August Connect Wi-Fi bridge to Wi-Fi and how you get your August Smart Lock Pro connected to a Wi-Fi network. If you have any questions about the August Connect Wi-Fi bridge or the August Smart Lock Pro, or about alarm monitoring services, send an email to support at alarmgrid.com. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up below to like the video. And remember to subscribe to our channel for updates on future videos. We hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.